Hey there guys, how are you today and welcome to another episode of I Ask Twitter. This is where I go onto Twitter, I ask a question about F1 normally, and then with the responses, I make a video. So, earlier this week, I asked the question, how do you think the new Sauber Alfa Romeo partnership will do in the 2018 Formula 1 season? So, as you know, in the last couple of weeks, details have been emerging about Alfa Romeo being one of Sauber's main sponsors now. And their drivers are going to be Charles Leclerc, who of course has been very prominent in the junior categories, and Marcus Ericsson, who's been in F1 for a, few, for a few years now. So I asked the questions, and now let's talk about the answers. So, Nicole, um reckons they'll finish 7th in the 2018 season. He reckons the, the Ferrari engine is a big deal. And of course, you know, it's a big sponsor, so lots of money, potentially. And of course, Charles Leclerc, we've seen in junior categories, he is a classy driver, he is fantastic. But of course, we don't know how good he will be in Formula 1 itself. Then Adam Joe says um, that he reckons Salva Alfa Romeo will do better than Salva did in 2017, but it'll still be a lower midfield slash you know, back of the grid type of team, so they're not going to be fighting for any championship or nothing like that. He reckons they'll get a few more points, so probably only. 8th or 9th in the Constructors' Championship. Now I'd say that's probably about right. And then the Moaning Yorkshireman says it's, it's, it's sort of hard to tell at the moment. And he reckons if Alpha were going to come in as a full manufacturer or such a large uh, sponsor, they wouldn't need Marcus Ericsson's money. Which of course, and that's the only reason Ericsson is their form because of the money he gives to the team. He's essentially a pay driver. The Mona Yorkshireman also reckons Charles Leclerc will do a decent job and will be as good as Verlaine has been. But he doesn't think they'll get higher than 9th or 10th in the constructors. But I guess it depends how, how how good Leclerc is, how good the car is. But ultimately they have Ericsson. That's the main point. They still have a terrible driver. So now I'm going to talk about my views, which I've sort of mentioned a bit already. So I really believe Ericsson does not deserve to be in F1. Especially compared to Mark, to especially compared to Pascal Verlaine, and in fact, pretty much compared to anyone apart from maybe Kvyat and Palmer. Who who is the worst driver, Ericsson, Kvyat, or Palmer? That's another question to ask. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> but I think Ericsson's only there because he supplies money to the team, and yeah, I don't. He probably won't get any better next season. I do also think that having an up-to-date Ferrari engine is a big deal because of course in 2017 they were using the 2016 Ferrari engine which meant in some respects they were at a quite a big disadvantage but I guess we don't know how good the 2018 Ferrari engine will be you'd expect it to be better than, than the 2017 one which is already pretty good but you can't tell how it will be compared to the other engines so for example where would it be in comparison to the Honda engine that's what that would be one position because obviously if the 2018 Ferrari engine is better than the 2018 Honda engine, then possibly Salva would be able to overtake Toro Rosso. Then of course you have to compare it to the Renault engine and, and Mercedes engine. And then I'd say Alpha, I don't think Alpha Romeo will be able to have such big influence straight away in the running of the car and the quality of the car, because surely a lot of the car development has been done earlier this season, probably since the summer. We don't really know how long the steel has been on the cards, although surely Ferrari have a lot of influence here, especially considering a Ferrari youth driver in the clerk is getting the seat. See, I think it is pretty exciting for the future to have Alfa Romeo back in the sport. Of course, they've been there before. You know, it could lead to other manufacturers like Aston Martin or Porsche or Audi also getting heavily involved. Of course, loads of rumours going around about Aston Martin and Red Bull. So it could, you yeah, know, it's always good to have more manufacturers in the sport, I reckon. That's my belief. And yeah, it's pretty exciting. So the final thing I'll say is that if you want to be able to answer the next, my next I Ask Twitter question, you should probably follow me on Twitter at BGaming342. That would probably help you out there. Even though I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but this sort of helps if you want to answer my question. And yeah, I'll see you for the next question very soon.